Former Vice President Joe Biden's White House journey from candidate to nominee had a shaky start. He lost in both the critical Iowa caucus and New Hampshire primary in February before his first victory in South Carolina later that month and then surged to victory in at least eight of the 14 states where Democrats held primaries on so-called Super Tuesday in March, outperforming expectations. After gaining a large delegate lead from key Super Tuesday victories, President, Biden emerged as a clear front-runner in a crowded field of strong Democratic Mr. rivals, Denigre. including U.S. Senators Bernie Sanders, Kamala Harris, Elizabeth Warren, plus South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg, all of whom would go on to give Biden their full-throated endorsements. I believe history will look back on four years of this president and all he embraces as an aberrant moment in time. But if we give Donald Trump eight years in the White House, he will forever and fundamentally alter the character of this nation, who we are. And I cannot stand by and watch that happen. Sir, less than, plenty. No, less than you have. Mr. Biden and Donald Trump battle fiercely over the president's record on the coronavirus pandemic, health care, and the economy. Due to Donald Trump's lies and incompetence in the past six months, have seen one of the gravest losses of American life in history. In history. But sadly, it's not over. As awful as the past 180 days have been, the next 90 days could be twice as bad. Before the election, Mr. Biden held a consistent lead over Trump in national opinion polls, although surveys in the battleground state showed a much closer contest. Joseph Biden Jr. was born on November the 20th, 1942, and at the age of 77, he'll be the oldest U.S. president in history.